with the dog days of summer behind us, many people look to the fall as the perfect time to get in shape and back into the right workout routine. There's no better time than right now to get started, so we're going to get some tips before we go from Old Town Fitness. Janessa, thanks for being on the show with me this morning. Thank you for having me. All right, what do you guys have going on at Old Town Fitness right now for fall? Right now we have actually a great membership deal going on. It's $99 for three months, kind of jump start, little workout program for you. And then we also have spin classes going on and a fit camp class, which is kind of like boot camp, but we have a lot more access to weights and other things because we're right at the gym also. Okay, now boot camp sounds a little scary. It, <laughs> <laughs> is this an intense camp? It's not. Um, I actually run the class. I, okay. I don't believe in the yelling and screaming at people. Um, mm -hmm. We like to kind of go with a little positive reinforcement. But mm -hmm. it's a good group. It's small group. Um, we have a lot of people that are just kind of coming back into working out. Mm -hmm. And the group motivation is what really keeps people going and coming back to the class. Mm -hmm. No, I was just going to say, Anessa, how can people get motivated to get back into the gym? Um, it can be tough once you've gotten out of the mm -hmm. once you've gotten out of the groove. But trying to find a friend that is interested in getting back into working out with you, um, finding group classes again mm -hmm. is a good good motivation. Um, and finding a personal trainer, it's good. So you have that appointment. It's like having a doctor's appointment that you know you have to show up to. And mm -hmm. if you don't, then you know they'll they'll charge you if it's not a good enough excuse. Right. Yeah. So you it makes you get there. Absolutely. It makes you work out. Yeah. Now, how many times do you have to meet with your clients a week? Um, I like I like three if we're looking to make some serious gains. Three to four times a week, mm -hmm. and we're not in there for two hours at a time, half hour to an hour at the most. Mm -hmm. um, but if people are looking to maintain, you know, two to three times a week, good solid workouts, you really don't need to be in there hours at a time. That's very encouraging. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, what do you cover in that half an hour or an hour? Um, I I like to focus on I like to focus on strength. Mm -hmm. um, people get the idea that if you lift heavy weights, you're going to get big and bulky. Women, it's just it's not natural for us. You'll just tighten up. Um, but also at the end, I like to focus on kind of it's like a finisher you know abs but getting the heart rate going so it's almost kind of a cardio circuit with a little ab routine mm -hmm. involved also i i'm a big fan of full body mm -hmm. working the body as a whole because that's that's how we work every day mm -hmm. now do you switch it up though a lot like is that big for you to constantly switch the routine up it's um it is because mm -hmm. people get bored i get bored with my own workouts so i try to stay with um a solid strength aspect in the beginning and then I'll play around with the other different kind of routine that I'm doing. So it's usually once it, once we do the heavy then we'll kind of go in and do lighter weights and just all sorts of different movements. Okay yeah. and now you mentioned spin class something you're mm -hmm. offering and I have to say I've taken spin classes yep. before and they always kick my butt. Absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. I found no matter how in shape I am I go into a spin class and I have to second guess it. <laughs> They're great. Okay and before we go, we're running out of time, but what about nutrition? Like, do they need to be drinking more water before they have a meeting with you, Yanessa, or mm -hmm. what do you recommend? Um, I recommend as much water as you think you can handle. The average requirement is um, half your body weight in ounces, mm -hmm. but us living down here and being so hot, you definitely have to just drink as much as possible. And then food-wise, you just want to try to stick with whole foods as much as possible. You know, walking outside the perimeter of the grocery store, trying not to go into the aisles. That'll keep you away from all the processed foods. Mm -hmm. So if you're eating your whole foods, you're getting water in with your whole foods mm -hmm. and you're just being as healthy. I mean, going back to how it used to be in the olden days before mm -hmm. we had box stuff all, all right. in the grocery store. Right, very yeah. true. All right, well thanks, Yanessa. Thank Hopefully you. people can visit you at Old Town Fitness. If you're interested in hiring Yanessa, you can contact her by calling the number on the bottom of the screen. That's going to do it for me today. I thank you for tuning in this morning. Please join me again tomorrow morning at 7 a.m. and again at 8.30 a.m. Take care and have a great rest of your day.